First reading of the Social Assistant Future Focus Bill today. I can think of no better minister in this House than Minister Bennett to put forward this bill. This is a minister that understands the welfare system. This is a minister that has got empathy and compassion. And this is a minister that's going to deliver for those people on benefits a brighter, brighter future, which the previous government under Helen Clark could not do. They failed the people on benefits, they failed to give them aspiration and they failed to deliver that brighter future. And it's very interesting when Annette King stood up and said, well where are these jobs going to come from? Who gives nine to three jobs? Well I tell you what, my office does. My office is open from nine to three and I employ people coming back into the workforce. I employ, no it's not, oh Stevie Chatter, it's just one job. One office, correct, but more than one job because I job here. Because I want to have the people who want to come back with the children back into the workforce working in my office because they contribute. They sit there and they shake their heads. I challenge the members in the opposition two jobs here in the offices, two offer jobs from nine to three so people can re-enter back in because on this side of the house we actually do that. We actually walk the walk and talk the talk and we do it and that's what this great minister is doing today. And I find it interesting, there are many, many members of parliament in this house who have been solo mums and who understand how hard it is when you've been at home, not just solo mums and mothers and parents who have been out of the workforce, how hard it is to go back into the workforce, to build your confidence, to retrain, to feel like you can add value into the workforce when you have been out of it for a while. And we are not underestimating that. There will be many of these mothers on the DPB who are well educated, who are well trained, who have been unlucky to get into this situation that was never planned and they never thought they would be here. And they want this help to get out of the situation they're in and they're keen to go back to work. And they know what you get from having a job, the value that it brings you in your self-esteem. And that is what this bill is going to do. It will happen, and it will happen under a national government. And we care about those women and those partners who have been out of work and to get back into work and to add some value. And I tell you what, if we want to give some aspiration to the children of this country who are in homes of beneficiaries, that's what we have to do. We have to encourage them and help them to get there. And this is what this government is doing. As chair of the select committee, this will be coming into my select committee tomorrow, our select committee to, tomorrow, and I look forward to hearing the submissions and what they've got to do and how they're going to add value to this bill. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I look forward to this bill coming into the Social Services Select Committee tomorrow.